Recording in progress. All right, so with, without wasting so much time, let's go. So we've been talking about sound design and uh, from last class we shall continue today with the sound design so practical insights into theatricals soundscapes too so today we actually have a script that we shall analyze and create something for last time we had a video that I created and demonstrated how uh, you can create sound design so today we are continuing with that and uh, we have this script and I want today to be interactive uh, let's read the script and then we jump in and if anyone has any questions we will discuss the questions and make sure everyone is on the same page yeah so on your screen we all have the script so let's just read through and the script is called the long wait and we just have one scene it's a dimly lit room a single chair uh, sits at the center stage. A door downstage right is slightly ajar. The only sound is the faint ticking of a clock in the background. So we have two characters, character A and, and character B. Character A, tense individual in business attire. So maybe in a dress suit or Cardigan or something like that, that is official. Suit, maybe. And then character B, a shadowy figure whose presence is implied but never fully seen. We have this mysterious figure. So scene one, the stage is dim. Character A enters from down stage left, carrying a briefcase. They pause at the threshold, uh, taking a deep breath before stepping inside, their gaze is immediately drawn to the slightly ajardo downright. And then we have a sound effect. Wait, no, I jumped. So this is where we were, scene one, and then they walk cautiously to the center of the room, placing the briefcase gently beside the chair. They hesitate before sitting, fidgeting slightly. And then there's a sound effect there. The clock ticking grows louder. So I think, yep, from there, then we have a sound effect of this clock ticking. And then Character A glances nervously at their watch, then towards the door, then begins tapping their foot in sync with the rhythm of the ticking clock. A shadow, character B slowly emerges through the door, creeping into the room. Character A's foot tapping stops abruptly as they freeze in place. They just don't know what to do with themselves. And then we have a sound effect again. A soft knock echoes at the door. Character A jolts, but remains seated, still staring at the growing shadow. Their breathing weakens. And yeah, we have a sound effect, which is second louder knock echoes. Character A rises suddenly, Clary and settled, they glance around the room, our eyes darting from the clock to the door, then to the window. They approach the window, upstage left, gripping the frame tightly, 
as if contemplating escape. After a moment, they let go and turned back towards the chair, shaken. Character A walks slowly towards the ajardo, their hand trembling, and they reach for the handle. Uh, footsteps echo faintly from beyond the door. And then we have character A hesitates with holding their hand as they fear to take over. Uh, the shadow of the ch of character B slowly retreats. After a tense pause, character A reaches for the hand of the door once more, this time gripping it firmly, and then we get a blackout. Scene ends with a loud slam of the door. Yeah, end of scene. So, I... I'm gonna give a few seconds. Let's individually read through the script so that we all understand what the scene is talking about before we dive in and start designing. And today, like I said, it's going to be interactive. So what you guys are gonna do are gonna tell me what to do and we will approach it together. Yep. So let's take like maybe one minute on on each so that everyone is able to read the script and then we can go. I think 30 seconds are right now. Okay, next page, 30 seconds. Cool. 30 seconds again. Cool. Let's go to the other last page. Cool. So, um, in the old PDFs, we've discussed what we need to follow to create uh, sound design for any scene or anything. So this is like a workflow, and this is in the old PDFs that we've shared. So usually we have a spotting session. So this is when you go through with the director and say, yeah, this works, this this is what I want to achieve. This is the emotions that I want to feel when this sound e effect comes in. 
And then we go to the second stage once we know what to do, where we choose our sounds. And we will plan and see if we can record some sounds, or we can go to some libraries where we can get uh, a few sounds that we can use. And then later we go into editing, and then sound design, and then mixing, and then the final mixing and mastering to make sure that it's ready for where it's going to be played back. So we've read the scene. We know everything that we need. I need to open the floor so we can discuss uh, what do we do now? Uh, what's What are we supposed to do? And we are very few people today, so. Come on, guys. What do we do now? Okay, I'm going to pick up on you guys. Shukra, what do we do? We've read the scene. What do we do next? Uh, uh. Yes, Dory. <laughs> So, in the previous classes, we've been talking about uh, the processes of sound design. So, uh, once we've read the script, analyzed the script, before we do sound design, what do we do? Uh, what's the next stage after reading the script and analyzing the script before you start designing your sound? What is the step? What is the next step after reading, analyzing the script before you start designing sound? Mm -hmm. People have been attending. We've read our script. What do we do? Hello. Hello. So, yes, please. So, I'm Andrea. So, I I'm think that the next step is to look is for, to look the, for kind of the, sounds the kind of sounds that we need. Mm. To select them. To select them. Yeah, that's so, very so correct. Yeah. So in this Thank case, you. in this look case, we have some clocks. Some clocks. Okay. And the maybe and maybe a, a music a music of, of a, a little bit of a drama. Bit of drama. Mm. Before he get into the stage and okay. stop. Before he get into the stage and stop. Yes. So that stages you will go through, you will do is. Organize and find and collect all your different sounds. And I'm doing this script because at the end of this class, uh, between now and the next three classes, you guys are going to design a scene of the script that we introduced a little bit earlier. 
but we are sending it to you. It's translated to English. Everything is in English. So after the class, you receive an email with a script and you're supposed to read the script and do the dialogue and also uh, do the sound design, the ambience. So I'm going through this so that I can prepare you to do your assignment because we only have three more and then we'll be done with our workshop. So you need to have been learning something. Okay, and uh, I need every one of you to engage and to contribute because that's the way you learn. This is a community where you are here to learn. So let's learn. So we've noticed that we need to get our sounds together. And where do we get sounds like these? H what are some of the methods that we can use to gather and collect our sounds, create a sound library for our project? Mm -hmm. So it was so going, it was to, going internet, to internet, yes. make some searches, make some searches or create, or create yeah. them. Mm. So I don't remember. I don't if it remember was, if it was. But to have, have the have the the page the, the page the sound the sound. Yeah. Was it class? Was it class? <laughs> okay. So yeah, very good. I like uh, people who are contributing right now. It's great. The best way to learn is to learn from each other, from peers. Thank you so much, Andrea. Uh, so uh, I'm going to share a site that is has free sounds online. So let's go there and see maybe and explore it and see if we can find sounds that we can use. So we're here. This is called Pixabay. It's a stock library where you'll find different things. So uh, usually I think it opens naturally in this mode where it's meant for images. So it will give you different images. You can change things around and like for this case, you see there are illustrations, vectors, videos, music, and sound effects. So there are different other libraries, but this is easy to use and it's free and it's cheap. As long as you log in, yeah, you should be able to download sounds. And I think they can also allow you to download some sounds without necessarily logging in. So let's say we're looking for ticking uh, clock. So you type your search like that. Make sure on the search bar the filter has sound effects because we are looking for a sound effect. And let's search and see what we we get. I hope I'm sharing sound from There we go. Let me reshare the page again. Make sure sound is active. So then, oops. Looks like I can't get sound coming through. Just a sec. Let's see. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
It's playing. I listen it's to playing. it. I listen to it. Pardon? I listen it. That's playing. I listen it. That's playing. It was playing? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Cool. All right. So we have these different sound effects. So what you do is download them and put them in a, a folder. So put everything that you need in a specific folder. So if it's clock sticking, if it's all the sounds that you need. So I'd gone through and downloaded some of these things uh, so that, oh, sorry. Yeah, so that we don't uh, waste a lot of time looking for the sounds. And this process, you don't rush it. Go slow, find the sounds that you appreciate and find the best sounds that you can find. That is the best way to collect sound effects. It's a uh, rush. If you rush, you crash. Uh, because remember, this is a thing of garbage in, garbage out. So you want to make sure the sounds you collect must be really good. You can hear that? Yes, yes. Okay, so for example, depending on how we pre-planned our scene, So this one is slow, but it has a, a hiss, a certain hiss beneath. Same with this one. And I, I won't use those. I want. I think sounds. we can use one. That already sound I good. think we can use one more slow and more round. More slow and more can round. Fulfill all the, can fulfill all the scene. Can you hear that one? So maybe we not could this go one, this one. Okay. So this one is slow and full and round. Yep. So the interest, yeah, I think I downloaded it again already. So I'm downloading it again let's once we've gone through the process of d getting all the sounds that we need then we should be able to prepare our sound design project so every now and again we shall be going and referring back to our to to our script to make sure that we are in class we are not doing anything very different so what i'm doing is i've imported all the tracks that i have downloaded in here so it saves me a lot of time when we start our job so some of the key sounds i think we've selected the clock one we had the clock so like i said last time you might need to rename some of these things so that it's easy for you to see and differentiate them so let's organize our our files in our daw okay so we have sorry are you able to hear my daw today Yeah. You can hear it. Great. All right. So, um, let me see settings, audio settings. Good. So, our clock is ready. 
what was the next sound effect that we need that we needed you can type in the chat if you don't want to talk i'm able to see so i need to see you engaging everyone what's the next uh sound effect do you want the script <laughs> let me give you a script for a little bit so we have this uh, this is what we are discussing so we've analyzed the script we know whatever is going on um, so we have ticking clock we have foot tapping we have someone knocking at the door and because we've gone through uh, the spotting session with a director we, we know what mood we want to create for example anyway we have no director here but uh, someone who understood this script maybe can guide the session and tell us and be the guide uh, be our director uh andrea do you want andrea do you want to be a director our director today i would like but i did not i would like but i did not understand this <laughs> because, because normally i need because normally i need a translation translation is for to not in my own language. language ah okay who i tried i tried to <laughs> gloria albert esther George, Shukra, Mabel, Doreen. I need a director. We need a director. With your help, I can do it. With your help, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it shouldn't be so much. Uh, it's a simple scene. It has no dialogue. It's just simply explaining. All right. So, do you want to go through the script a little? Oh, Mebo wants to direct. Cool. So let's, uh, so this is a script. Just go through it one more time. If you're done reading and you understand, just type in the chat and say, yes, I'm ready. And then we can proceed. Meanwhile, each one of us think of the different sound effects that we need. I need at least a contribution from each one of you today because we're now in a practical session. I'm not just going to do everything like that. Can you can you please, please copy the copy text, the text and, and put in the chat so I can make my translation? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. copy I hope I copied and <laughs> looks like okay I'll co I'll uh, I need to reduce a few characters All right, let me do it again. Looks like the one chat, by one, one by one. Yeah, let me do one by one. The chat can only take about a thousand characters. So, it's the first. I already, I already open a word and a word and I will copy. All right, very good. So we have that. 
is okay, the first okay. one. That's the second. That's the third. So that's the whole script. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So for the rest of you, actually, I notice I can share, I can share the, let me share the word document direct to the chat. So you, oh. I put a document in the chat uh, of the script. You can download it so we are all on the same page and we discuss it as we go. We've all received the script. So we have ticking clock. Now that you all can read at your convenience, please, I need you to contribute to the class. This is your project. Okay, communicate in the chat so we can move ahead. We have about an hour and 30 minutes. So we've gone through all this in the previous classes. I just have notes here to guide us, but we've actually gone through everything we need to to know and be able to flow today. So today we have a script and we have our DAW. Let me go back to the DAW. Whenever you're ready. The clock is ticking. Any of our directors, 
it's ready. Excuse me, excuse uh, me. Uh, uh, is there, uh, is there, uh, 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 did, did, did I miss something? Did I miss something? Read it here. Read it here. Like, Pardon? like, are we, are we reading, or reading or give it this instruction? Yes, so read and then tell us uh, what emotions we need to achieve with the script and what we should do to achieve. Uh, okay, you are just directing in terms of emotions and then the technical side, which is everyone else who is not directing, will be will be on the technical side. So they will be telling us, oh, maybe that clock, let's change the clock, or let's do this. So what I want from the director is to lead, to lead the way, and let's see how we can develop this scene and bring it to life. Okay. Okay. So, yes. Let's see if we have all. If we sounds. have all the sounds. Okay. Because I think we need. Think we need three kinds. Three of kinds clocks. of clocks. Yep. We need also. We need also a brief, 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 briefing. Someone briefing. Someone briefing. Duff. Briefing. This. Someone this. 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 Let me. Let me. Wait. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I, I missed you a little bit. So th you say three types of cl clocks and? Yeah, yeah. Someone that is someone uh, that breathing. Is, uh, breathing. So we need someone that is breathing. Uh -huh. Maybe a little bit Maybe of a little bit of talk. Or the talk. Sound. Heart Sound. attack. Okay. We need the, we need the feet. feet. On the feet, on yeah. the lower, feet on the feet lower, on the floor, like, floor, the like the clock. Okay. I don't know if I don't know if I'm the feet feet There's a lot of there's a lot of back back. We need someone knocking on the door. Someone knocking on the door. Mm -hmm. We need a we need a suspense sound. Suspense sound is uh, is uh, in, in the bed bed of some sound. Of not sound. very loud. Not very loud. But uh, we, but, need, uh, we need sometimes when the sun comes in. Sun comes in. Pardon? A suspense sound. A suspense sound. A drama. A drama. Sounds of drama. Sounds of drum. Drama. Music. Yes. 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 Okay. Dramatic music. Yeah. Dramatic music. Yeah. Dramatic music. Okay. That it's not that it's Just not dramatic. Just dramatic. Just a... It's full dramatic. It's full dramatic. <laughs> okay. Are you guys hearing feedback? What kind of feedback? Okay, so okay, so okay, so okay, so okay. It's so an echo. An echo. Is it from my voice or? No, my no, my. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Any other participant? Any other participant? It's easy. It's easy. When you talk, I don't when you get it. When I talk, I get. When I talk, I get. And then this one, someone and else. And then this one, someone else. Ah, okay. I have the I same. I have the same. When, 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 if someone else participates, I hear only echoes. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, it's a general thing whenever someone speaks, that echo comes in. So let's see how to fix it. 
But we can still I work on, on what we are get the echo. Yeah, it's not good to listen to the other one. <laughs> like twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is it still yeah. coming? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, when it's you, it's okay. But, but when it's us, I think I'm now this is to you, lady. <laughs> oh, it's good. Someone else to talk, please. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anybody to talk so we can see? Yes. I, uh, um, it's now good, I think. I think it's better. Right. Yeah. yeah, I think it's better now. I think I was good. muted. I don't know. All right, cool. So we can. Uh, why are you still working on sounds? Yeah, so we still. We still sounds. Well, There's. Uh, his breath, I think, that's where he breathes heavily. Okay. We can't. We can't exaggerate that. Then also. The footsteps, the door, mm -hmm. the door, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know when he places, I don't know that when he places the briefcase. Besides that, I don't, I don't think it does. No, I don't know. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we've... Uh... I've collected from youth. We we have like three types of clocks. We have breathing sounds. Uh, someone mentioned a heart attack, feet on the floor, someone knocking at the door, and uh, some dramatic music and a briefcase. So, how many types of feet do we need? Types of feet. Yeah, is it? The same uh, feet all the time. The we, need, we need two types. Not only two. Really? Uh -huh. There's a tap. There's a tap. The tapping ones. Mm -hmm. Like ta ta ta. Then we need. Okay, it's it's in sync with rhythm of the clicking. Oh yeah, of the clicking clock. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then we need the <laughs> when he's entering the room. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So I think we what we have. So let's say the way this scene is written is supposed to be on stage, right? It's like a stage kind of script. So some things oh, maybe could, could be minute. designed. Yeah. There's that simple walk also, the usual, the normal walk. Besides the, the creepy one, besides the creepy and the tapping, there's that yes. that noble walk. Okay. He, yeah. So he's okay. Good. So we have the normal walk. We have the tapping. We have basically yeah, different different feet. Uh, can so, I please ask? Uh, yes. There's when he retreats. I think it's like taking a step yes. back. Is it? Yep. Does it require sound? Yeah, he's, he's going away. So we can decide whether the shadow disappears silently or it disappears with sound. So depending on what we want to do. So 
but it could also be footsteps. Okay. Yeah. Do we have the sla the slamming of the door? This is where he slams uh -huh. the door like. Okay, so we need door slamming. Okay, good. So, uh, a scene like this, if, let's say for example, this scene is, this is a stage play. It's theatrical play. It's not a film that things will go linear, like from beginning to end. If we wanted, we could do that. We could design the whole scene and make it very strict on time. Or we could design the elements and make them ready to trigger in the moment of the performance. Uh, I think we can design the scene since we only have audio tell the story with only audio let's design the scene from beginning to the end and we can limit ourselves all this to happen in a period of at most a minute so not more than a minute really okay right so so let's get ready to go. So if you had your old documents, we know that uh, we collect our sounds, we import them, we edit them, we rename them, and then let's start. Now from the people directing to directors, uh, all we want to know is what do we start with? Do we start with a clock? Do we start with a door? Do we, so you, I want you to think in terms of tell the story. For us, everyone else, let's make the sounds. So where do we start from our dear directors? The clock. So we start with the clock. We are thinking, okay, I think that's also okay starting with the, with the clock. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's okay because when he comes in and he sits, mm -hmm. because it, like it's, it starts, it is, it is soft. It's, it's oh, oh, we can do variations. It is loud before he enters. When he enters, it's soft. Oh, sorry. I think I lost. Okay. Maybe you were saying something. I just lost you for a second. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with the, with the clock. We shall just play with the, with the, with what? with volume. Eh? Okay. So I have imported some sounds in here. Some some I have, some we shall go and download and add in. Some maybe we could edit, some we can layer. So uh, we are going to start with a clock. So before I do anything is I've imported everything in here but this is like my bank. I'll be getting sounds from here. So I'm gonna group them. And if I want anything, I'll open, I'll put them in a folder. If I want anything, I will come to this folder and pick the sound that I want from the folder. So let's say one. They s our director said we are starting with a clock. So I've created clock and I could create two clocks if I want or three clocks, depending. One first, one depending, but for this case, I'm gonna create two. And 
one we have this clock sound So I can copy and paste that on my clock. So now I can mute all these because I want to focus on the first clock. So we are, is the clock first, is the clock slow paced? Our directors is the the first clock is it first is it slow that pace is good that pace is i think it's that is good to create some suspense all right cool so uh we have that, uh so let's say that Okay. The the pace that pace is okay. We can increase it mm -hmm. as the script goes on. As we go on with the script, let's say when the other characters are coming in, especially the shadow, the, the shadow, yes, character B. Can try and increase it okay. because for some reason this guy is test test by by this guy coming in, by the shadow of the other guy coming in. Okay, cool. So from the start to now, we are going to be very slow because uh, one, the reason I said we should have directors is because I want you to have an experience of what it means. If you start without clear direction, you don't know, but you know what you want to do it might s slow you down when you don't know what to do and sometimes you might even like procrastinate and because you don't know so the first thing is we talk to the director we know the sounds that we need but right now we can say okay how are we developing the scene we are starting with a slow clock and then uh, this guy that is pacing and then taps and then so we need to know the development of the story in blocks start with a clock it's creating a sense of uh, sorry uh, it starts with a sense of urgency suspense so the clock is creating that this guy is impatient is tapping uh, maybe we can tap with the foot and then we go on like that so maybe Let's get to hear the story together. And then in that sense, we shall be knowing exactly what to do. Because some people might say, maybe start with a cloak, maybe start with a feet. Maybe, maybe, even me, I don't know. Of course uh, maybe, we we but, start with yeah, the so feet. Director, oh, what, how do we develop? Uh, if the clock is okay. already there, we are imagining if the clock is already there in the room. Okay. Mm. Okay, so this guy comes in. Yeah, that's also okay. We can start with okay. like, this guy coming in. Mm -hmm. Then the door. The door open. He opens mm -hmm. the door. Then we start hearing the what? The clock. Okay. Okay, that's from the director. From the script, I think the guy comes in and walks and then he starts noticing that the clock is there. So but we if, have started with a clock. If if we don't start with the clock right away, it doesn't make sense. Mm. Because do so you want to say that it started, it started clicking when, when, when he looked at it? It was already there in the room clicking. Only that if we are outside the room, that is only do not hear the what? The, the clock. You'll only hear it when you're in the room. 
So we we'll start with the, the guy coming in. He opens the door. Then we start hearing the what? The clock. Okay, the guy comes in. Then we start hearing the clock. From the script, I don't think it's like this. The, the description is in the beginning that the sound of the clock, it's, uh, it's there before we start. So I think that if we have a visual, it's going to be a dark scene with the clock and then uh, things start coming. All right. Cool. So uh, it says, yeah, so the door nothing is there then we have the clock before anything happens cool so this is our clock so the clock is going to be not that it's going to be if if we see be loud and start going uh... High, little by little. So we start slow and then it's the speed keeps increasing. Yes, low and then get high like I think it's starting. Okay, cool. So let's start like that. It's normal and we don't know what is going on. And then it keeps growing over time. And then after that, let's go through the whole thing so that when we start, it's like flawless. So what do we do after the clock? After the clock, we have the steps coming. And then we listen to the suitcase post on the floor. All right. And the guy starts to breathe. Mm. The, the okay. breathing is coming uh, near to us. It's like uh, things are coming to us. Start always start uh, low and then get high. Everything I think because they are coming to the scene. They are coming to us. All right. Good. So we are starting with the cloak and then we the footsteps. You say it? Yes. Okay. And then so we have and then and the briefcase put on the floor. All right. Because they stop. So we have the cloak and it should be slower it's not slower it's uh, like uh, it's uh, it's far away it's far away yeah we don't listen it too high but it it's getting high okay so we'll deal with that let's uh, first place this the, it, yeah it's the same sound so it's getting uh, high and high and high so it starts like yeah, so one thing in DAWs is you have markers and you can mark some of these things. Like, uh, for example, is I'll add a marker and say this in the beginning, the clock, clock is at a distance. So this marker will remind me because we, we remember we have a workflow. If I start mixing now, it will slow us down. So let's put the clock. Next, let's see uh, feet and then the briefcase, right? So, yeah, these feet kind of have noise. And then they are very fast. So. I could use them, but no, I'm not going to use them. The so feet, the footsteps are, are so uh, fast. We cannot use these ones. These ones are slow. 
Okay, so let's go to the library and find fit. Uh, Mr. Manzi. So, yes. Mr. Manzi, before you proceed, there is a, a concern in the comment section from the, the team from Serbia. Yes. Uh, they had a change in clock. Now, instead, like they are un one hour behind, uh, according to their <laughs> clock. So they came in an hour late and they are requesting, if it's possible, to do have a recap, a quick recap of how, how the scene opened. Like if the, the start of the class, if you can spare like five to 10 minutes to do a quick recap so that they are also at speed. Chosen by their own calling it nature that uh, caused this and the time change in their area. All right. So, um, Sorry about the time and the clock. So we are doing a sound design for a script that is in our chat. So you can look up in the chat and there is a script. It's the one that we are designing sound for. We discuss what we want to do, how we shall approach everything. Uh, if you can't find it in the chat, I'm going to share it again so that we are all on the same page. I wish. Just a sec. So the script is called The Long Wait. It's just a simple script. One scene that we talked about, we discussed the script, what is in the script. We collected the different sounds, put them in our DW, and now we are sh we talked about online sound libraries where we can find different sounds. And now we are looking for sound of feet. So here I am, I have, I'm down, I just downloaded one. Walking feet two. So I just named it Walking Fit 22. Let's go back in a DW and see. Let me import it. So to import, you come into file and say import audio file, and it will give you the source where you want to get your sounds from. So this one I named it 22 let me import it in so this one doesn't have noise let's let's see <laughs> uh huh. Mabel, you're saying something. <laughs> so, so we have different feet. Let me choose a different section of the feet. So these are mid paced. Mebo. Okay. So I'll put all sounds on the timeline for now. So they said feet, and then they also said we needed we we needed a briefcase being put down. 
So let's look for a sound of maybe let's start with briefcase. Some of these are very hard to look for. So there's different here. This is a handling sounds. Alright, we have something here. The last bit of placing headphones down could be something we could layer. Uh, placing object down. We could layer with something else. Let's find the sound of putting something down. It's too dry. That's too wet. So I think we can get something from here. One of those objects that are falling. I'll call it object two. And then oh no. So we have different sounds that we can layer to object three, that we can layer to create our object being placed down. So I'm gonna import my objects in here. So I could say import audio file, object one, object two, and object three different tracks cool actually let's put them together like that so let's work on this one piece which is the object let me go back to the DAW so I've imported the objects I've just downloaded these are the three so down I'll create a track and I'll call it object or briefcase now it's no longer an object. I know exactly what I'm trying to achieve. So they are placing it down. So let's see. I'll start with maybe just this middle one. It's as simple as that so this actually was an object falling on the stairs i think that's how, how they had marked it but as we see we can alter by cutting and editing we just can create an illusion with sound so i'm gonna create let's layer it with another sound i think let's listen to this sound So this last part. I like the like the last part. And I can expand the view so that I see that 
I can make sure that they are well aligned. Now let's so I can already create a feeling like oh this object has been placed down. Unfortunately this has a bit of noise. We'll deal with that later. One is dry and then so this is the first one is placing the briefcase down and then we have the second one has a I like it because it has something that sounds like cloth cloth and then finally is this let's layer three sounds I would love to make it a little heavier than it sounds so let's just exaggerate it a little bit pasted it a little far let's see so this is more of like a wooden sound and I only want one sound out of it which is that so let's align everything and I don't want it so loud it's just adding maybe the vibe of whatever the flow or an illusion of something heavy this first part okay let me reduce this okay I think I like that so we could do more later so if you're reading the script it says this guy comes in and is pacing around then the cloak is ticking uh, then we have a door that is open okay so we have faint ticking of a cloak in the background and then a comes in enters enters down and Let's see, carrying a briefcase post. All right. So we're still walking. Let's uh, create the feeling of walking, which is, could be this down a little so I'm just gonna go through very fast and quick so we have feet they go and before he puts the case down I don't know is he slowing down or is he fast so just to say I don't see the briefcase in I think the briefcase in the sound effects itself it's not there but on scene one I think he scene one the stage is dim character a enters from downstage left carrying a briefcase they pause the th threshold taking a deep breath before stepping inside uh, their gaze is immediately drawn to the slightly ajar door 
which is open. They walk cautiously to the center of the room, placing the briefcase gently beside the chair. They hesitate before settling, fidgeting slightly. The clock ticking grows louder, and then glances nervously. So let's do up to here before the clock starts growing. So we know he walks in. And then they notice the door, and then they keep moving again to the center. So they place, I don't like this wooden sound. Let's place the case down. And then what happens next? So we had directors helping us figure out what happens after what. So we placed the case down. And then I keep referring to the script as well. I know I have directors, but I still refer to the script. So the clock comes back, I think. So directors, if I miss anything, you're there to guide me. I'm bringing back the clock and this time it's getting louder so it's been there the whole time but so this is our clock sound and is it getting faster is it getting louder Getting higher. Higher in terms of volume? Yes. All right, good. Then after the clock, what do we do? So later we shall mix these elements in. Of course, I know in the beginning we have a clock that is faint behind and now it's a little bit louder so this is just a simple edit that I can do and can guide me so at this point I can put a marker M markers help us to remember things say so clock gets louder then when we are mixing then we can create that sense of distance and space and volume. So after he notices uh, that, where are we? He starts fidgeting. Uh, the clock gets louder. Character glasses nervously at their watch. Uh, then towards the door. They begin tapping their foot in sync with the rhythm of the ticking clock. Maybe we could do that. So I have some tapping sounds that we can get in. So now I'll create briefcase this is also a briefcase two this is three though I didn't use this I think I won't use it let's say uh, rename this to tap this is our object I'll keep the object below the feet Tapping feet, where do we have tapping, 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 right here. Let me copy. So if I copy and where I place my cursor, if I click the track and control V, which is the same like editing. So there's a bit of time when 
this guy first stares around. And then he starts, starts tapping his, his shoe. So this sound, I'll chop it around and maybe move it. And we see, we move, because they say it's in sync with the clock. So let him tap at every hit of the clock. This is our clock. These are the feet. I don't know, maybe taps four times. So he's tapping his feet. Let's continue tapping. Um, let's go back to the script. Then they say, um, fidgeting with clock gets louder and then a shadow slowly emerges through the door creeping into the room character A's foot stops abruptly as they freeze in place their eyes fixed on the shadow which grows larger and more pronounced and then we hear a soft knock that is at the door. So he jol a jolts, a jolts, but remains seated, still staring at the growing shadow, and their bre breath quickens. Then they knock again. So let's see. Let's bring in. Uh, we were asking if the shadow has feet or it it just appears. Let's see, I can hear from you. You can suggest what we shall do with that. But let's get some door and we'll put door below the briefcase. Create like two tracks, door, door knock. So these guys stop tapping and then we hear someone knocking. So they knock like that. And then um, what happens in the script? We hear a soft knock. Jolts remain seated, staring at the growing shadow that quickens, and then we hear a second loud knock. So let's choose which door do we go with the second time. So here they Yeah, so I shared the whole script in, there's a word document, you will find the script. Just scroll up. If there's anyone that can help me reshare it, that would be great. Let's get uh, the copy of the dough, dough two and put it here.
and then character A suddenly clearly unsettled they glance around the room eyes darting from the cloak to the door then to the window they approach the window as if contemplating to escape after a moment so let's walk to the window maybe same feet let's come here I'm copying the same thing so right now I need to get a structure and then I can you can start playing with these elements so you know these elements just place things in the timeline if something doesn't work you will be able to listen to it and know no this doesn't work but if you get in the cycle of looking for the right sounds in the spot you might never achieve that so yeah we have about 30 minutes but we'll be done by then okay so gripping the frame contemplating if he should escape after a moment they let go and turn back towards the chair they are afraid and then A walks towards the open door and then footsteps echo faintly from beyond the door okay looks like someone is coming character A it's withholding so let's bring in just a little different feet or this other character I don't know if I downloaded I think I have uh, another pair of feet so let's go back to our website and maybe look for heavy since this is a mysterious character we don't know let's look for heavy feet for now heavy steps and let's check I'm trying to find things that have minimal noise because okay. that could work. Concrete. Okay, let me take these ones. We'll s slow them down. it big feet not the animal cool let's go back to our DAW and our feet are here right. and then we can add in we can add feet import audio file let's do what I say does big fit there it is copy some of the big fit and bring them here I need another track for feet. Let's create a new track. Footsteps, big, and paste them here. Remember, we want them slow, so let's chop them so that we can be flexible. So I use the audio waveform to to do this. As you can see, I 
I'll take like three samples for now since we need to do this quickly quickly so let it let it be slow and mysterious this other Bigfoot guy so come easy and slow let's repeat this Space them a little more and randomize them just a little. All right, let's just work with that for now. Remember, for things like this, we do fed ins and fed outs, otherwise, we might be getting some clicks. This is part of audio editing. That was the feet that are from outside and then we need some handling of the door and then the door closes. I don't know if I have some door handling sounds but we can check. There we go. We could use that for now, but let's see, how does he interact with the door? It says he trembling as they reach for the door handle and then withhold their hand as they fear uh, the shadow of the character be slowly retreats after a tease pause. Character A reaches for the hand of the door. This time gripping it firmly. So let's go back to our website and see if we can get door handling sounds. It's closing. Slumming the dough. Actually, we'll need that. All right. So this sound has before the door hits. There is. Yeah, we have a bit of our dough handling, and then the dog goes slamming so I'll take one of the two let me just call it dough handle it's a full dough thing but this is how you get some of the sound effects sometimes you won't find that particular thing but you can search in something that is close and see if you can get the sound that you're looking for from that Otherwise, it's not like they've recorded all the sounds that have ever existed. Let's <laughs> mute Albert. Albert is negotiating. All right, so let's get that door handling sound imported we can do bang let's come here import audio file and door handle right there so the sound i'm interested in is this 
area before the door goes bang so let's put that in door knock door knock I can put that okay let's say door shut let's create a track and call it door shut and let's place that so that's the only sound I wanted from the previous sound effect because we know according to the script after that after he gets the dough he shuts the dough like so actually yeah this whole thing can can do it so the last bit is let's make this door shutting impact since it's the last thing exaggerated and we just make it very impactful so I'll create like three layers I think there's three more layers call it do slum <laughs> that's not do slum that is do slum I'll pick some layers so I have a layer like this, a layer like this one as well. All these are door slamming. Same with this door bang. Let me listen to them. Let's see. So I have. That sounds like bullets. Let's take the last. I like the reverb it has. It has a thing to it. I think it's gonna create a good effect if we layer it. Mm, this one, I don't know. It's too thin. I don't like how it fades out. And let's see. I could I like this is a metallic dough okay now I'm getting an idea of what I can do this one is banging the dough very angry uh, all right so I'll take this and Layer it down here. Let's paste that and put it under. Let's get another sound of the dough slamming. I think which is this. This one would just give us an element of exaggeration. And to make the whole dough thing very scary. And then basement do slum let's see if we can add that yeah I don't know all right let me first see what I have and see I decide what we could add handles the dough starting right here yep so I like what this exaggerated metallic dough it's I know it's a wooden dough but this just adds a element of drama and fear and you know and a big impact So that's the beauty of layering like I have independent this alone doesn't give you doesn't give you the impact it just has this 
interesting space than this one. It's just like a baby pushed the door. So the three of them just gives you a nice, beautiful impact. So roughly I've placed everything on the timeline. Let's see how that plays out. So we have about 10 minutes. So this is what you're going to do. Let me disable these tracks so that they don't disturb me. I don't have to think about them when I'm playing. So the script said it starts faint in a distance. How can I achieve this? I could right in automation the clock starts getting louder the door so here maybe so I have different notes that I could have at different areas here yeah so here I'm gonna make the feet I know it's supposed to sound sound from outside so this is when you start getting to know how to develop your script. So the first knock is kind of loud, which is true. So let's see. We can make it soft by turning its volume down. Let's turn the volume down, and then the second time, it's quite loud. Let's listen to that. So let's see uh, now. These feet are supposed to sound like they are from outside. So these are now you go into like a mixing stage where you bring the thing to life. So you've done automation, you've done, uh, you've placed the things on the timeline. So let's see if we can do just simple mixing and obviously there's a lot that we can add that can enhance this whole script and just bring it to life. Let's say if I wanted to make this figure very scary when he walks with his big feet from outside, we could add like uh, maybe the flow does oh in sounds that are in the space any any sound that can make it feel like creepy ominous Let's see. <laughs> so like a, a door creaking like that all right so we can let's creak could be the flow but not so much 
and where do we add that the door has been is open so we could use that door creaking to show that the door is open maybe when he walks to the window I think it's here before we we hear these feet in the distance like adding just a simple sound like that tells you something is off of course timing it well all that matters and then by the end boom we are scared so let's make this fit sound like they're outside so to make things sound like they are coming from far we we use we could use an equalizer where our ears hears hear high frequencies when we are close to objects like when i'm so close to you you will hear the high frequencies when i'm far you hear more of the low frequencies that explains why you hear a party that is in the neighborhood you hear the bass not the high frequencies so since it's a little bit far let's create let's cut the high frequencies so let to demonstrate uh high frequencies if the feet had high frequencies this is how they would sound so like that if we cut those already there's an element of distance and also since these are light uh, these are light let's actually change it to slow curve let's add reverb a little bit of reverb helps us reverb is an effect that emulates like a space so we could use any kind of reverb let's use something like this so i'll reduce the reverb And obviously something that is far doesn't sound very close let's cut it more in the low frequencies so high and slow like this that sounds like this object is coming from far and then we can automate them so as he gets closer maybe it feels like he's coming close let's kind of automate that so he so i'm opening that filter To create the sense that this object is actually close and we can also use spanning let's yeah if you have headphones you're able to tell the difference now so we feel this object keeps getting close and closer why because the filter is opening every time he comes close and we can feel the movement he's coming from left to let's say i placed him in this side so you can hear So this you play with it until you're really convinced so what 
we could also do another creative choice with the ticking clock. We could have reverb also on it. I uh, will use a normal reverb, any rev reverb. Okay, the first one to come wins. So let's. So if I'm adding space to the ticking clock, by adding reverb, it makes it feel more ambient. So let's see how we can automate that process of the clock as well. So the reverb being there is the clock, it's helping the clock to be something that can easily threaten somebody. So it's going to, it's going to help us on intensifying the, intensifying the, uh, what is it called? The, the tension, the suspense that is happening. So we, use effects to kind of bring that to to life now all these elements are happening in one space so since i'm just gonna close the class in a few let's route all these tracks i'll say all you tracks go through we talked about buses so this is like a group instead of them going out direct to our speakers to the channel that is sending them to our speakers let them pass through a certain group which we shall call our mix so everything that we have done comes through this which is the mix and on this track we shall create we can put some reverb there i can also add reverb so that everything was in one scene and it's it inside a room so let's you can go in the presets of any reverb that you have and just say for this case i'm just using like a small room yeah it says drum room i can use a drum room so it will give me a sense of like this exists in one space everything comes out through one place and they have one reverb which gives it the same ambient space so let me increase the volume so we can hear properly Alright, so that's basic. Uh, there's a lot obviously that would go in tightening this up and making the story more coherent. If we add in music, if it's nicely timed, this would set it to a whole other level and then like obviously feet are not as loud as we are hearing so this would go a little bit quieter and then you'd have like a more coherent uh, mix. Even these taps, these feet taps are quite loud. Let's just roughly go through 
the walking part and I can turn down this All right, so I'm ending here. I hope you got a lot from just watching me design this. Of course, it takes time, and when you're designing, you're not talking <laughs> and teaching, so <laughs> I would be obviously faster if I'm doing this without talking and, you know, and then there's automation, there's all these other different processes, you see, you tighten this. So if this is to be performed on stage, then y you can send this for rehearsals. The people make sure the timings are performable because sometimes you might make things so short, yet you need to give them more space for a person to actually walk from point A and point B. So being at the rehearsals, seeing whether this will work or not, you come back, adjust this, and the more you see it in context, gives you an idea of, I'll keep improving it. Like, I don't like the briefcase, this point where it's put down. So I will find another effect that is more believable. Get a microphone and record that particular sound. And yeah, that's basically sound design. It's a, it's a process. So to come up with a final one, you have to try it, test it in the real world and see, yeah, is it performable? Can we actually make sense out of it? But otherwise, if you have any questions or anything you want to say, you're welcome. Very nice. And uh, I, I can make it also for a video. That's it. Yeah, sure. This is, you can, this is if you have a script, you don't have a video. If you have a video, then you ha actually have the place we would add environments because when we are actually seeing the environment, that's what we did last week. So you would just approach it like that. But this is exactly the same way you would approach a video. The difference is now the timing, the feet, uh, where transitions happen, where the editor cuts, it's what you're keen to see. Make sure the feet, here you just can dump in the feet and could be freestyle. but video then you have to watch frame by frame and make sure you're in sync i don't remember the video can came in this program it was another program <laughs> oh last week last week we had uh we designed sound for a scene which was an ocean scene uh, only that the video wasn't playing so well but what i did is i created an a video and I shared the email. I hope you guys got the email that I shared, like going through the, the process of video. Last one. I didn't get the, I didn't get it. Who got the video? Put your hand up if you received that email. I did get the email. <laughs> okay. Uh, some people got it, some people didn't. I don't know. Maybe, okay. We sh I'll resend it again. Yeah, I'll resend it again so that all of you can look at last week's video and then look at today's video. Last week we had a video. Today we have uh, a script. We don't have a visual. So that's the difference. And I wanted to show you both worlds so that 
you know how different you can approach them. Yeah, my question it was, I don't remember if the video was in this program, so we can put video here. Yes. Yeah, okay. I beg your pardon? The video was in this program or another program? In this another very program. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, if I think uh We'll resend uh, the email so that you can see for last week. And the good thing today, uh, the people came a little later. At least you came at a point where I had not done so much. So I don't know. Yeah, I hope you were able to get something. Maybe someone can represent people from Serbia and tell us how the class was for them if they were able to pick and understand uh, well if i can say yeah um yes i think it was uh, understandable to me uh, although i would love to to be able to see it from the beginning but we will be uh, seeing the video i guess i mean we can we can uh, repeat it at home and watch it from from the beginning but uh, it was similar yeah. to to the last uh, last week's uh, lesson. It was in the same um, uh, door, right? In Cubase, and yes. only the process was a bit different. So, uh, yeah, we we could follow. Uh, I mean, I'm speaking for myself. All right, that's that's very good. That's very good. So um, I'm going to send you a script for that you will start working on as your assignment for next class, for the next three classes, so that you can start working on that. So the approach is pretty much the same. You just get the sounds, you have the script, and you just design it in your own way then we'll have time to review what you have done yeah before we end the program so in the list of the emails you'll get if you are not receiving these emails please write your email down in the chat so that we add you on the email chain so that everyone receives the files they are supposed to receive yeah and we resend every pdf from the start and all the material we had sent before we resend it plus the material for this week now you're going to do your final assignment yeah so that's it unless there are questions we end it here Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, have a good night. You too, have a good night.